Kyle has gone in search of a lost ball, but rain and refuse aren't the only things that wash down here from the gutters of Los Angeles. Another kind of refuse lurks in the dark. It's our job to find and rescue a child in a concrete maze of dangerous gases. a rescue team in action, one of 27 such teams attached to the fire department of Los Angeles County. Five and a half million people in this area are dependent on their ability to act swiftly and efficiently in any emergency. This program is dedicated to rescue teams throughout the United States and to the men who risk their lives daily to save others. We will be back in a moment to bring you the story behind this exciting rescue. I'm so glad you got here. Ah, there, Patty. Am I early? Nope. Right on time. For a change. Oh! oh. Patty, give me your hand. Get yourself down. You're a good rescue man. Oh! You better start wearing a pompeer belt around here, boy. Oh. <laughs> Bribe for the cook. Oh, Wes, how nice of you. Yeah, that's right. Spoiler. What a good husband you'd make for some lucky girl. Careful now, Patty. You promised no matchmaking today. Well, I think you're being very unfair with a town full of unmarried females. Just cautious. Relax. She didn't invite you here for a matrimonial catch. <laughs> what then? A referee? Nope. Father. What? You're right there, buddy. Uh, break it to him easy, Skip. Well, Pete will be home in a minute. Who's Pete? My elder sister's son. He's staying with us for a few weeks. Yeah, big junior type gang boy from St. Louis. Oh, Pete isn't that bad. Just, well, a little spoiled. Raised by a family of women. His father died in Korea. Oh, it's rough. On everyone. Pete learned to use a zip gun before a toothbrush. What do you need me for, a live target? <laughs> no, a good influence. You've been around a lot, and I think that Pete might sort of look up to you. If he got to know you. Yeah, but have your bulletproof vest handy. Oh. It's all yours, Big Louie. Johnson? Yes, I am. Sorry to disturb you. Are you missing an automobile? Well, no, I don't think so. Come in, officer. Uh, Mr. Johnson, what's the trouble? The car registered in your name was found near a vacant lot where some kids had a gang fight. The one we caught was pretty badly cut. Anyone here by the name of Pete? My nephew. Is he all right? We haven't found him. But the wounded kid recalled hearing somebody yell his name. You expecting Pete Holmes? 
Didn't you loan Pete your car, Skip? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine a kid leaving it in the street. I'd appreciate it if you'd let us know as soon as Pete gets here. I'm afraid you'll have to answer a few questions. Certainly, officer. Thank you, ma'am. Guess that's all. Thanks for saying you loaned him the car, Skip. Oh, well, Pete's in enough hot water without getting picked up for stealing cars. Uh, maybe it's not as bad as it seems, Skip. All kids get into fights with knives. Well, maybe that's Pete now. Hello? Oh, yes. Yes, he is. Just a moment. Wes, it's for you. Thanks, Betty. That's yeah, Wes Cameron. Yes, Chief. We'll be over just as soon as we can change our clothes. Not a rescue response. Yep. But you and Skip are off duty today. Trouble wasn't off duty, Patty. The chief wants us to look for a little girl lost in storm drains under L.A. Come on, Skip. What about the mess with Pete? Oh, that's my problem, Skip. All right, but when he gets home, you keep him here and call the sheriff. All right. Don't worry about me. I was just thinking how I'd feel if I was the mother of that little girl lost in the storm drain. Brother says you went hunting for a ball. Apparently it rolled down this storm drain. Happens every year. Baseball season's the worst. Maybe they've learned to stay in the playground. Any chance of sewer gas in here? Possibly. You may need your mess. How about high water? Won't run into much water this time of year unless um, a hydrant cuts loose. Uh, and you fellows undoubtedly know there are about 800 miles of storm drain in this area. From all we can gather, the child should be about here. Now, uh, your buddies from the B shift will be working towards you from the Vermont area. We've opened up all the manhole covers along here to light the inlets. But there are thousands of feet of pipe in which the youngster could be stuck. So look sharp. Any questions? One, her name. It might be of help if we have to call her, Chief. What's her name? Maria, Maria Lopez, but the children call her Mary. You got that? Mediterranean city. Miles of concrete lined tubes able to carry away a flash flood in underground rivers. And somewhere in this maze, a child had disappeared in search of a lost ball. Just one lost ball out of the hundreds that slipped down the gutters every year. Hey, catch. Here, you have yourself a ball. Something eating you? No, nothing in the world, Bronco. Nothing in the whole wide world. I just love, I just love crawling around in holes with cops chasing us and maybe an honor farm waiting for us when we get out. I go for that real big. Ah, what are you crying about? Nobody ever found us when we come here before, did they? What beef do you got, Big Louie? You didn't have to go stick that kid, did you? It was three against four. <laughs> you want we should have got our brains beat in? It was them or us. Look, I'm just saying I don't like it, that's all. Ah, squirrel off. Look, just supposing that that kid's got hurt, you know, and the cops track us in here, what are you going to do about that? We've been using it for months, and nobody never pushed in on a ship. A few hours, the heat will be off, and we'll all go home. Nobody talks, no troubles. But just what if they do? Well, now, we know this hideout better than anybody else. Now, we've got plenty of munitions. We can fight off anybody. Anybody. Nobody's gonna push me out of here. I'm with Bronco. You still with the club? Okay. I want everything checked. 
the dark gun loaded, ammo ready, everything where you can grab it. Because if anybody starts spooking us, we douse the globe. Now, Pete, you keep a butt lit for that gas grenade. You see, I got long ears. And what I'm hearing might only be sewer rats. And then again, it might be somebody walking. Something over there, Skip. Rags and junk. Maria! Mary! Smell that? Yeah, like rotten eggs. Some industrial plants wash their chemicals down here. Better put these masks on just to play safe. Wonder how long that little girl can stay alive down here. I can't answer that, Skip. Let's keep looking. Oh! drain is like a haunted house. The smallest sounds bounce off the empty concrete walls. You can't be sure if it's only water dripping, rats scurrying, or something else. Thanks, pal. You better be 
careful. That's the second spill you've had today. They say bad luck runs in threes. Fine rescue this turned out to be. Dolls and darts. <laughs> Keep looking. Jerks fixing a sewer pipe or something. They won't bother us no more. You got any plans if they come back? Don't point at me, will you? <laughs> sure, I got plans. The leader's always got a plan. We just sit here in the dark and peck at their lights. They push us too hard. Well, there's about 20 grain holes that'll take us out of here. We hit the street, scatter, meet at headquarters tonight. Well, maybe I don't like that plan. Maybe I'm not asking you. You know, you talk pretty tough with that rod in your hand, don't you? Go on, show him, Bronco. Show him. Winner is boss, huh? Bronco, I had it right up to here with you. Winner, winner's boss, that's fine. But this time, you're going to fight clean. You don't use that sticker. Oh, anything you like, Big Louie. I love it. I'll keep the toothpick in my pocket. Why do you better go around the corner and keep watch so them sand hogs don't come back and jump us? Oh, Bronco, I will. <laughs> I figured you for a regular big Louie, but you got a soft spot right down where you breathe from. Oh, <laughs> Voices up ahead. Probably dripping water. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Pretty good. What's that dripping water is talking. Yeah. Listen, you guys, whoever you are, 
We're a fire department rescue team. Looking for a lost girl down here. We're coming through. Now, don't try to stop us. My partner said, we're here to save a life. You try to interfere, we'll handle you any way we have to. Hey, Bronco. That second voice, that's, I know him. That's my uncle. Shut up. We're not getting taken. Not by nobody. Cops or fire. Hey, Bronco, listen, I want to talk to you. Will you, will you listen to me, please? Talk low and fast. Listen, Bronco, I want to tell you. No, all that stuff I told you about back in, back home, that, that ain't so. I, I made that all up. I, I, I didn't steal no cars. I didn't steal no hubcaps. Listen, Bronco, I want, I want to tell you how it really was. Look, see, I live with my mom and, and uh, my two aunts, and, you know, they was always dressing me and, and pawing over me all the time. I cried out loud every time I sneezed and went and stuck me in bed. I didn't have no father like you had, Bronco. You were lucky. No, no, no. My father, they're okay sometimes because they understand. They understand if you want to drag race some old car. But, Bronco, this ain't kicks no more. This hiding out in the dark, this ain't kicks. You're gonna worry about that rap. I'll take it with you, see? Okay? I mean, let's go out there and, and, and meet him. And no more of this hit and run stuff, huh? I mean, come on now. What, what do you say about it? You stopped him, Bronco. Come on, let's head out. No, it's a trick. They're still moving in. I can hear them. Hey, Bronco, we're crying out loud for the last time. They're not after us. They're after somebody else. Come on, knock it off. You want the ship in you? Now, as soon as they're close enough, you toss that grenade out. I'll see they don't follow us. Now, you like that fuse. And remember, I can fix you any second you get out of line. Instead, you help another lost kid find himself. 